crazy fan girl shiny. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we're not even gonna like bleh about anything. It's the Spider-Man trailer. There's so many theories going around, and you know what? Let's not worry about them right now. Let's just jump into it because I'm super excited and just whoo! The internet's on fire right now. I don't know why. I'm just I just saw the trailer came out and then I just ran because I was like I don't want to see anything. Let's just watch this trailer. But before that, just quickly. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video to keep up to date with all my videos. Let's go! <laughs> oh! Ever since I got bit by that spider, I've only had one week where my life has felt normal. That was when you found out. Watch that spell where you wanted everyone to forget the Peter Parker Spider-Man. Oh, we Jesus. getting some visitors. From every universe. <gasps> there he is! Oh my god! Hello, Peter. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Dr. Otto Octavius. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, seriously, what's your actual name? There are others out there. We need to send them back. So, Scooby-Doo this crap. You know, all this is kind of your mess. I know a couple of magic words myself, starting with the word please. Please. <laughs> Scooby Doo. Yes, MJ. <laughs> Put him in his place. You're flying out into the darkness to fight ghosts. What do you mean? They all die fighting Spider Man. It's their fate. <gasps> I'm sorry, kid. Yeah, me too. Don't. Look, there has to be another way. There isn't. They're a danger to our universe. You're not gonna take this away from me. <gasps> there he is! Oh my god, a lecture! You're struggling to have everything you want <gasps> while the world tries to make you choose. This is all my fault. I can't save everyone. <gasps> Listen! My god! Oh, shit! What's happening? They're starting to come through, and I can't stop them. December 17th, exclusively in What? Movie what was that December last part? Spider Monday. Wait. They're starting to come through, and I can't stop them? Oh, does that... Wait, so I'm guessing that connects to like multiverse of madness. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god. Okay. Interesting trailer. God damn. Oh, the hype is building, dude. Um Dude, I cannot wait. So I and yeah, this is gonna be interesting because again, like that immediately came up. Just the fact that Peter is realizing that all of these um, villains get killed by Spider-Man, um, and also just, yeah, okay, so a lot of people were wondering if Toby and Andrew were gonna be in this trailer, and you know, honestly, I was like, I don't know, because even I'm like, I don't know if they're gonna be in the film, it would be so awesome if they were, it, like, I would love it, please bring them into the films, um, because they're, like, even in this, there's so many parallels to, like, the OG films, like, Amazing Spider-Man, and also, like, uh, Toby Maguire's Spider-Man, like the, the the Green Goblin, the part where Tom was going reaching for the Goblin, like um, what's it called, the grenade, and then the part where he was falling to try and catch MJ. So, like, come on, dude, they're doing big parallels here. So I would love to see Toby and Andrew in this film if it's possible. But um, I'm curious now about what's gonna happen in terms of Doctor Strange, because obviously. 
damn, Peter is like a little shit. Because <laughs> he wants to try and save everybody. And that's the problem. You can't save everybody. Um, and now he wants to sort of save these villains. Which is interesting. Um, or I'm guessing he's trying to give them a different fate. And um, instead of having to die at the hands of another Spider-Man. Um, which is very interesting. And, and it's very much like Peter Parker to do that. Because he always wants to save everybody. Um, and we've seen this through multiple different like takes of Spider-Man. Whether it's Toby's or Andrew's. Or even in the PS4 Spider-Man game. Like he's trying to always save everybody but you can't always do that as a superhero there are going to be people who die including the people that you love and care for um and i and or even the villain and even we saw this in toby Maguire's um spider-man where he tried to save um what's his name harry and also i can't remember the guy the guy who became venom i can't remember his name off the top of my head but that guy he tried to save him but then he just sort of like he wanted like venom back and then he he just died because of the grenade um but yeah it's very interesting and i yeah i love that we got to see all the villains like uh, i know a lot of people were thinking like is it lizard or is it venom because obviously spoilers for people who haven't said venom let there be carnage I haven't seen it, but I, I did see the, the credit scene and obviously Tom Holland was in that and everyone was like, wait, is he going to be in this? Because obviously multiverse. Um, and it makes sense if multiverse sort of like collides with this one. But I'm not sure if he will. Maybe he might make like a post credits like cutscene or something like that. Um, but hmm, I'm trying to think. But I like that um, we got all the other villains. So we got Lizard or just, yeah, Reptile. Um... Then we got, obviously, Goblin, Green Goblin. Uh, we got Dr. Oct. Uh, and then we got Sandman. Um, and then Electro. So we got five villains. Um, which is cool. Because that nearly makes... Because I think... What's it called? The six... Because you need... Um, what's his name? Vulture. To become the... What's it? It's that group of villains. Oh, Sinister Six. That's what they're called. I couldn't remember them for, for a split second. Um... But, ah, oh, dude, I'm trying to think because, like, I feel like Toby and Andrew are going to be in it, but they might just come in at the very end of the film. I would love it if they did. Because, like, I mean, like, if people haven't seen the leaks, like, they look so real, but at the same time, I'm, like, holding back expectation, being like, oh, are they going to be in it or are they not? So, like, I'm just sort of sitting here like, oh, my brain. But anyway, to break this down a lot more, obviously, it seems like they're collecting all the villains and keeping them in like a sort of like a contained space which is obviously i'm guessing within the um sanatorium so they're obviously going to keep them in there and be like okay we bring them in one by one and then we send them all home but yeah again i'm guessing that box that peter grabbed is obviously something that is very special to the sanatorium but also i guess something that messes with time so i'm guessing that hmm because, I mean, it like, I don't know if it was the box that went off towards the end where it was, like, at that, um, at that statue, but it seems like, yeah, like, at the statue it seems to go off. So I'm not sure if that's breaking the, the multiverse even more or if it's trying to open up portals so they can go back, but... It's interesting, and I'm glad that they've sort of, like, left it open. They haven't given too much detail, only for the fact that, again, Peter's trying to save everyone, uh... And again, they're not giving a lot away in terms of the plot. So I sort of like that. It's keeping everything in mystery and keeping everyone on their toes. So it's like, what's going to happen next? Like, is this going to happen? Is this going to happen? So yeah, I'm I'm super excited for when this film drops because I'm going to go and see it. It looks so good. Um, and there are so many other films I need to catch up on in the next like two weeks or so before Spider-Man comes out. Um, yeah, it's just a lot to catch up on. Um... But yeah, I really enjoyed the trailer. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below and what your theories are. Um, I do know, again, because again, like heavy leaks came out recently with including Charlie Cox, including Toby and Andrew. And I mean, if Charlie's in it, that's just sealed the deal for me because I mean, I love Charlie as Daredevil. And if he comes into the Spider-Man movie, it like cements his place in the MCU, but also just brings Daredevil into the MCU properly. Like obviously, like I believe that the Daredevil like show is like canon, but at the same time, if they bring Charlie in, 
it means that it's actually canon. So I really hope that Charlie's in the film. Um, obviously, as um, Matt Murdock, and obviously is. Um, I was about to say Tom, Peter's lawyer. I would love that. Um, and I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh my god, you're like one of those fans on the internet, you know, stop thinking about all that. So what? I'm allowed to believe in what I believe in, and like, if it's real, that'll be all. But either way, I'm super excited for this film. Whether it's like including Toby or Andrew or Charlie or not, I'm still going to be excited for this film, and I'm probably going to enjoy it either way. Because this lo probably looks, it looks like it's going to be better of the, the other two movies that we got. Because in all honesty, I didn't really like the two Spider-Man movies that we got. The first one was okay, but Far From Home, I was like, yeah, it's not that great. It's all right. But this looks like I'm going to enjoy it. Like, I'm going to sink my teeth into it and just love it either way. But anyway, I'm probably going to leave the video there because otherwise I'm just going to keep ranting and la la la. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. Um, and again, leave your comments down in the, dis in the comments below. I was about to say description. Leave it all in the bottom. Let me let me in on your thoughts. I would love to know what you guys think. Um, all your theories and even just your thoughts on the trailer. Um, again, also, just quickly, uh, the suits. So we've got the black and gold suit. We've got the red, blue, and gold suit. And then we've got the iron, the iron armored suit. So, um... I'm not, I'm not really a fan of the Iron Suit, um, just, I don't know why, just because they've had it for so long, and also just because, like, Iron Man and stuff like that, just, like, that connection to him, it's like, just be yourself, dude, just wear your own suit, in my opinion, but I'm so excited to see the other two suits, it's gonna be pretty sick, um, and I'm excited to see how he gets them, whether he makes it himself or he gets help from like his friends and stuff like that, or I'm guessing he's gonna build it on his own, because he's done it with the other suits that he's done. And he did it with the last suit that he did from Far From Home. So I'm guessing he's going to be building his own suits for this particular film. But anyway, that's enough. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, Fangirl, out. Woo!